Yo, they really must have forgot who started this outside shit in battle rap. What's going on with your Brooklyn Tech's head, Daily Spread Podcast, and to the Streets HD? You know the vibes. If you don't subscribe, then you're going to see how we ride on this side. Out here in uh, Crown Heights right now. Nice day. Beautiful day. The weather is pristine, actually. And I just wanted to just put that out there real quick, man. Don't forget who started this outside sugar battle rap. And do I mean me? Nah. I'm not talking about me. But I'm talking about we. And I'm only saying this because you're not on that type of time. None. So why why must we create this facade for promotion? Listen, man. I'm not caught up in that in that corny world, bro. You won't you won't You gotta be quicker than that. Shout out to my real ones, man. Y'all know what it is. And this is not a sub. This is a dub. The dudes is trash. Y'all know who y'all are. Can't navigate like me. I'm different. I'm from Bad Style for real, from Notion Avenue. And I came up in the era with a lot of where a lot of the legends were made. New legends are being made right now. But in, in regards to battle rap, rest in peace, Pumpkinhead. Really from outside. Some of you who know me, know my story, know who I know, knew who I came up with. And know that it's really like that. That that's just is what it is. And I think that's what makes people feel as if they got to take the stance of, oh, I'm tough when it comes to us. But we're not thinking about you and not thinking about that. You feel me? We got bigger fish to fry. That foundation has already been laid. There's people etched in the ground, stomped out. Mossbergs to the to the noggin, all type of. I don't even want to get too 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 descriptive about what has occurred. Like I'm walking, I'm walking through the jungle right now. One of the most nefarious towns you would have ever wanted to ever. A lot of people who are watching this or who will watch this for whatever reason. I never walk this street by themselves. Would never walk this block by themselves because they scared. Because they don't understand you. A lot of people fear what they don't know. And if ever you see me out of character, don't think that I'm not in control. I could get crazy at any moment. <laughs> you get me. I came up with some of the realest, man, to ever do it. I done shook hands, interview, talk with, smoke with some of the realest, some of the, some of the most iconic individuals in hip hop, period. I done got shout outs and they got drops from some of the most legendary individuals in the music business, period. I done connected emailed sat in meetings flicked it up with some of the most legendary iconic the highest level individuals you could think of I done been around and been in a mixture so I could understand 
why you don't like me because you know that what I speak is facts and my resume holds true. I done had some of the most realest, dopest, most amazing individuals in the music business pull up to work with me, bro. Do I gotta name names? Like I'm outside for real and I contributed way more than most of you could ever contribute to this culture, whether you know it or not. And I'm gonna leave it at that, Low, Shout out to the homie, man. Got his billboard up. Ooh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the type to get in the bag and be like, yo, man, Smooth L, young boy that's up there posted. I didn't even know that was up there, man. Salute to the kid. The kid been working. He got a couple nice joints that I like, right? I'm the type to highlight them type of individuals, man, when I'm in that hip hop bag. You feel me? All this other shenanigans, it's corny to me. So just note, man, if I wanted to be in a hip hop lane for real, I could make it dark for a lot of you. But that's not, that wouldn't be my intention. My intention would be, would be to highlight the talent and to turn some stones. I'm different. And shout out to, the, shout out to my network, my ever-growing network because it, exp it, it expands beyond hip hop. And I'm sure all of our experiences allow us to network outside of hip hop, outside of battle rap. I decided to take my channel to another direction and create another channel, the Daily Spread Podcast. You can go over to the Daily Spread Podcast to get with me on these sports picks. Because I'm like, yo, you know what? How could I help you make money with battle rap? I really can't. Battle rap is being monopolized for the most part. I can help you make money from these games that you like to watch. Most of us in battle rap, we like sports. A lot of cats now trying to copy the wave. Now they want to start their own sports show. And all that copy the wave is all good. But note that I'm tough when it comes to sports fans. Who knows? There might be somebody in, 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 in hip hop and battle rap that might be better than me at, at, at selecting games, but I doubt it. I'm nice, and for the record, I'm going to wrap it up with my pick for the day. I like the Memphis Grizzlies against Saul Oz today at the crib. The Pelicans look like the team. They got Zion. They got this one. They got that one. Shout out to them guys. But what they don't got is defense. And they got to face John Morant. He might get a triple double on their head today. This is Brooklyn Tech's man, Delhi Spread Podcast, outside Smurf Village, man. What you know about it? What you know about it? Talk nice. Outside. Brooklyn. Who started this shit? You already know the vibe. If you don't subscribe, we out of here.